the Secretary of the Department of Veterans Affairs stepped down today. Eric Shinseki resigned amid mounting pressure from the public and his peers. And we've been reporting on the nationwide fallout over a scandal that started at the Phoenix VA five weeks ago. Well, now one Sherman family wants to share their experience with the Bonham and Dallas VA hospitals. K-10's Meredith Yeomans has the story, and we want to warn you that some of the images you're about to see are graphic. 1970, my dearest love. Vicki Mitchell so still keeps beautiful. love letters from her late husband, Terry, in her nightstand. How's my beautiful future wife? The two met a month before he deployed to Vietnam. They married when he returned home in 1970. He was a good guy. He really was. Terry suffered from multiple medical conditions after he was discharged from PTSD to heart disease to skin cancer. In 2013, he was diagnosed again with cancer, which the VA linked directly to his exposure to Agent Orange. While there's no way to know for sure, Vicki believes if her husband would have received more timely, aggressive treatment at the VA, he may still be alive today. When they told us, he just looked at me and he said, well, this is, is it. So... And then we lost him. In April 2012, medical records show Terry first visited the Bonham VA Medical Center for what doctors described as a suspicious lesion on the right side of his neck. What did they first say it was? A uh, wart. Four months later, he was diagnosed with cancer. Surgery to remove the cancer came six months after he initially went to the VA. This is how his daughter Jennifer says he was sent home after surgery. Terry went through his first round of chemotherapy in April 2013, a year after he had the growth first looked at. It just seems like an awful long time. By then, a biopsy revealed the cancer had spread to his lungs. It eventually spread to his brain, and in August 2013, Terry died. I was right there when he took his last breath. So it's been tough. We contacted the Dallas VA, which oversees the Bonham VA Medical Center. After having its clinical quality management office research Terry's medical records, a spokesperson said in an email, it is the opinion of our dermatologist and ear, nose, and throat physicians, the time frame for diagnosis and subsequent treatment meets the standard of care. Despite the appearance of the surgical site, the spokesperson said the area was covered by graft tissue taken from another donor to allow the bed of the wound to heal. As for a year's wait time for chemotherapy, the VA wrote it was decided that the veteran needed to be closely followed clinically instead of having immediate radiation chemotherapy treatment. The VA said it develops an individual personalized cancer treatment plan for each cancer patient. This week, the inspector general substantiated claims made by a whistleblower at the Phoenix VA. The inspector said 1,700 veterans who were waiting for medical care had never even been scheduled for an appointment. There have also been claims dozens of veterans in Phoenix died while waiting for medical care, which triggered audits at medical centers nationwide, including those in Dallas and Bonham. The Mitchells say seeing other military families come forward gave them the courage to do the same. We distrust the VA and it's coming out why we distrusted them. I mean, these people are, it's right, they're right. This is the worst thing I've ever done. And a slab of stone and pictures now provide little comfort. You're the only person in my life. To a grieving widow left clinging to memories of the love of her life instead of making new ones. In love with all my heart, your future husband, Terry Mitchell. As for those one-on-one -on -one audits ordered in the VA North Texas, those are now complete. And coming up tonight at 10, we'll show you what the preliminary report revealed. Live in the studio, Meredith Yeomans, K10 News. A Sherman family cheered today when they learned the secretary of the VA stepped down. The scandal that led to his resignation surfaced five weeks ago in Phoenix. But for this family, the claims being made hit home. Well, the fallout has also made its way to North Texas through audits ordered rather by the VA medical centers. Tonight, K-10's Meredith Yeomans shows us what the preliminary results of those audits revealed. I don't want his death to be in vain. Jennifer Mitchell and her mom, Vicki, are now one of dozens of families nationwide that have come forward to complain about the inadequate care they feel their family members received at VA medical centers. It's been hell. I mean, VA hell is what it is. Vicki's husband, Terry, died in August 2013, a year and a half after he initially went to the Bonham VA Medical Center to have a spot on his neck looked at. What did they first say it was? A uh, wart. Four months later, Terry learned he had cancer. Doctors at the Dallas VA performed surgery, and Terry began chemotherapy in April 2013. A whole year goes by before you even have any chemotherapy at all. It just seems like an awful long time. But by then, the cancer was spreading, first to his lungs, then his brain. I want my life back. 
but I'm not going to get it back. It wasn't my choice. I want him back, but, you know, he hurt so bad. The Mitchells now wonder if Terry would have received more timely, aggressive treatment, would he still be alive? It's a question many families nationwide are asking. After a whistleblower with the Phoenix VA claimed staff was cheating veterans out of health care to make it look like the VA was meeting quotas. There have also been claims dozens of veterans died while waiting for care. That scandal prompted audits of VA medical centers nationwide, including those in the VA North Texas system. According to a representative for the Dallas VA, national scheduling audit teams have now visited every facility in the VA North Texas system, including Dallas, Bond, Fort Worth and Tyler. In an email, the spokesperson said during the exit briefing, the audit teams indicated they found no evidence of secret waiting lists and no smoking gun. The team, however, did recommend refresher training for scheduling staff, which will be completed by June 30th. As for the Mitchells, a spokesperson with the Dallas VA said in an email, it is the opinion of our dermatologist and ear, nose and throat physicians. The time frame for diagnosis and subsequent treatment meets the standard of care. Meredith Yeomans, K10 News.